Now, today we're taking a look at the Chameleon Ultra from Hacker Warehouse. Now, if you want to buy this, click my link down below, because then they know I sent you to them. Even if you just click the link down below, wait a month and buy something, they'll still know I sent you. Now, uh, this is actually a pretty cool device. Now, we went over the iCopy XS, which can uh, run you a big buck, I'll tell you that. But for all the features it does. Now, my I, this is my Chameleon Ultra that I got from Hacker Warehouse at DEF CON. They did give this to me for free. This does not mean it will be biased or anything like that. Uh, you guys know I am here to say the truth. Now, um, you know, we're here with my RFID setup. And uh, it may not be the best, okay? I know, same as last time. But instead of just opening this up and closing it, I want to show you guys the app. And yes, there is an app for this, which you're able to control from your phone. So just looking at this, this is some cool work artwork on here. Blah, 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 based on the open source NFC tool. Yeah, I know. Okay, so opening this up, this is the NFC emulator. So, I mean, not going to lie, I already took mine out. But <laughs> it is also in a case. But let me get this out. This is the silicone case it comes in. Oh, well, you put it in there. I'm not trying to take the whole thing out. But just look at that, okay? Oh, whatever. This thing is a beauty. You can see all the tech in there. You have your two buttons already. Doop. And I actually do want to check something else out. Super cool with this, but we'll have to do that in a different video. You're able to control this from Bruce. And I mean like any Bruce. So we're going to have to control this with my Lego Team Bed CC1101+. Plus. But, I mean... We're taking a look at what this thing actually looks like. So now we're going to have to go ahead and download the app. And the app is going to be called GUI. Yeah, uh, I don't remember the rest. <laughs> now, so here we actually have our app. We go to CUGY. Now, you can plug this thing directly into your phone, or you could do via Bluetooth. Now that we're also waiting for this to connect, uh, in this case, we also get this mini screwdriver, which you could put onto your drill. Two little small screws. And, of course, we also have a USB-C charger. Now, this one's actually very neat because it goes from USB-C to USB-C to USB-C to USB. Pretty neat. And uh, if this thing could hurry up, that'd be nice. Okay, we could go ahead and connect the default BLE connection password is 123456. I do not think this is my first connection. Might be, and we may just have to be setting it up right now. But doo -doo -doo. Now... Okay, so we could update the firmware, which is going to be super easy, and all you have to do is hit one button. But what I actually want to do right now is, as you could see, look at this. While we're scrolling through the different ones, it's also scrolling through the slots, which ones we have saved, and all kinds of different stuff. So here we have our different slots. We could go ahead, take these off if we don't want them. This is super neat. We could save the file. We can export to a new card or update it. So we're going to be taking a look at all this stuff in a minute, but just going over this. We have our saved cards, and then we have info, write a card, and uh, boring stuff. Let's go ahead and try to write this card. Okay, so I have this thing all set up now. A, move forward. B, clones. So we could go ahead, and we're going to just want to hold this up against here and tap B. And that's going to clone it. We could also do this through the app just by hitting read. But if you don't have the app with you, that's kind of the point of this. But as you can see, we can go ahead, hold this up, and then we want to select the one we want to go to, of course. So two. And then let's go ahead and see. Oh. This one's janky, so you kind of have to hold it down a bunch. And boom, locks it right back up. So that is gonna be the feature there. You can also transmit it to another card like this, which just emulates. So then that could be like your one open doors, but this one's a, this one's a lot smaller and gonna do that a lot more easy than a device like that. Would. Now, like I said, this is a really powerful device. Go click the link down below. I keep dropping it. Click the link down below if you do want to go buy yourself one. But that's really gonna be it for this video. Like I said, I do wanna in the future try to use this with Bruce. But really, that's just it for this video. Make sure to like, subscribe, go join the Discord, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.